And the outcome of this was, to cut a long story short, was he didn't just get a bonus. He actually, um, they offered him a, an equity partnership in the firm. Hello, I'm with Dillis Guyan again. Welcome back, Dillis. Hi, John. Hey, Dillis, in the last four discussions, we've had some great discussions about sales and, and particularly prospecting. Uh, and you've talked about the three mistakes. We've covered two of those so mm. far, which is giving up too early and talking about me. Mm. Okay. Let's talk about the third, which is all about getting a strategy right and not about tactics. Exactly right, John. And, and the problem is I see this all of the time, that people are engaged in tactics, just random tactics. So they send out a random email or make a random phone call. They, so they'll hear that blogging is the thing to do, so they do some random blogging, but there's nothing strategic about any of it. I understand this because in the world of social selling, which I've got fairly heavily mm. involved with, people have, have give it a go and say it failed. Yes. And you say, okay, what was your strategy? Well, I did exactly what you just said. Thrust threw stuff out there to try and save it and stick. Yes. No strategy. Exactly. Yeah. So the message is that you need to be very clear and have a written plan uh, with your goals. So know what it is you want to achieve and have a plan that sits behind that. I like, I like the fact that you mentioned goals. Goals right up front. Yeah. Get, get, you know, ensure that we drive us our activity to where we need to go mm. and too often it's say hey, we just need to make some sales so let's chuck stuff out, st stuff out there yeah goal first and then the strategy the strategy and written down it's no good having it just in your head um, Harvard Business School did some research that showed that only three percent of people had the goals and plans written down but they made more than the other 97 percent these were graduates leaving uh, yes. uh, when they graduated right exactly. I, I, I saw that study it's fascinating yeah so that alone has got to be worth writing down your goals and, and your, your strategy, your plan that sits behind it, you know, and it gives you such great clarity. When you take that time to sit and write it down rather than thinking about it, it just, it, 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 it's like it just opens up that sort of clear vision of, of where you want to be and what the steps you need to take to get there. Okay, so... Let's, let's really get to the guts of this. Getting a strategy in place. Tell me what you mean by that. What is a strategy? Right, okay. And maybe I can best do this by giving you an example of one of my clients. Okay, that'd be great. Um, he was a, a solicitor. Uh, he dealt in consumer credit. Really good, clever boy. Uh, his clients were financial services and, and financial institutions. And he came to me and said, look, can you help me because my bosses have said, if I can bring in more clients, I'll get a, a bonus, but okay. I don't know where to start. Okay. So I said, right, well, let's sit down and write your goals and let's write a plan. And within that plan, the first step was to say, right, wh who are your ideal clients? Who do you want to work with? What do you know about them? Let's look at wh how you're going to research them and be very clear about that. And then once you've got that clarity and understanding of your client and the world in which they operate, mm -hmm. where do you find them? Okay. And so, and, and some of them, the marketing activities, it, it, they didn't resonate with him. He didn't like the idea. So what he did was, in his, in his strategy, was to go and speak to, to sort of mm -hmm. find associations where he could speak to his ideal clients. Right. He wrote articles. Mm -hmm. um, in magazines that he knew his ideal client was going to read. He was active on social media and he was very active in the forums of his ideal client. Sounds like a very good personal branding strategy that he built. It, it was because what happened was he, um, he exposed himself, metaphorically speaking. Sure. Um, and, and he positioned himself as the expert. And the outcome of this was, to cut a long story short, was he didn't just get a bonus. He actually, um, they offered him a, an equity partnership in the firm. There you go. And uh, whenever I meet him, we'll still meet, uh, he'll say, Dillis, I can't believe that I've achieved what I've achieved. And that all came down to setting a very clear goal, getting commitment to that goal, and then building a plan or a strategy to achieve the goal, yes. writing it all down, 
and driving it forward. Yeah, and one other thing was that when he was out there speaking, his articles and so on, it was all relevant to what he knew the problems were of his ideal prospective and client. And consistent across all those channels. Absolutely, yes. Okay. Uh, look, that's a great story. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, people that I've worked with do similar things, mm. and and they they instead of achieving their goal that they set there, they ended up achieving something amazingly more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it really is all about getting a commitment to a goal and then putting a plan in place. Mm. I love it when a plan comes together, yeah. but it's not going to come together unless there's a plan in the first that's place. Right. And the key is implement. Because you can have the best plan in the world, you have to implement, implement, implement and learn as you go along and get better and better. And then adapt your strategy as you learn. Completely. I, I totally agree. I mean, a lot of people say, hey, don't muck around with the strategy too long, get out there. And I tend to agree with that. Mm. But don't lose your strategy as you do it. Exactly. Yeah. And so that's the first part of your strategy. And that's bringing in people saying, hey, that's me. I really need to talk to you. This is this is really good stuff, and and I, I'd like to extend, you know talk more about strategy and mm -hmm. and some of the case studies you've got. Would you like to come back and have more discussions? Still, well, is the sky blue, John? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> so so let's do that. Um, and, and you know the bottom line though from this one is, hey, make sure you've got clear goals and you've got a plan in place mm. when you go to market. Completely. Thanks, Dillis. Thank you.